this is the video I was looking for when I got this TV and I was unhappy with it. What I'm gonna give you, this is the information I was looking for and I couldn't find it anywhere. So, of course, you can find videos telling you, hey, you know, deactivate this setting, there's an automatic br brightness uh, or whatever. So I'm going to give you the really the information that make me completely change my opinion about this TV and now I love it. So the first thing you have to adjust is the black level. These OLED TVs out of the box are going to crush blacks and the, pal the TV, the panel, needs to be used for one, two weeks, 100, 200 hours and it will change on that, on that period of time. So the first thing you need to adjust is the black level. So you come here to settings and that black level is called uh, brightness, screen brightness on this LG C1. On the C2 it's called black level, which is more correct. So you enter here, this screen brightness, and what you want is you want to have a, perfect, a perfectly black background and what you want to do is turn off all the lights you have a completely dark room and you want to raise this number until you no longer have perfect blacks very important and at the beginning you might need to have this number on 56 okay so the way you test that black room you put your put your nose on the screen and you're gonna raise this number until you no longer see perfect blacks so for example this is by default on 50 you do 51 still perfect black 52 still perfect 53 no longer perfect black then you lower that to 52 that's the first thing you need to do and after the first week you recalibrate that again your know, first two three weeks you're gonna have to recalibrate it and you're going to end up in 51 or 50 never less than 50 based on uh, expert opinion uh, from a calibrator that I've been uh, listening to other calibrators they say the same thing this should never be less than 50 so you're gonna end up 51 or 50 very important so after you do that I'm gonna tell you right away the setting that makes me change everything all my opinions about this TV and by the way I have all the protection mechanisms all the automatic uh, logo brightness uh, limiters I have all them on on the service menu I have all the settings by default I'm gonna do a second video talking about that so this setting I'm gonna show you here is completely risk-free you don't have to worry about burning or anything like that this is out-of-the-box settings just with this adjustment so what you're gonna do is you're going to step up here on uh, select mode and you're gonna click one 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 three one 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 and you're going to come to this secret uh, menu and what this secret menu is going to do for you is you're gonna change this EOTF from auto to HLG so what this is going to do is going to convert SDR to HDR and it's gonna work for every single game it's gonna work for every single content so let's take a look at it this is the SDR presentation you can see this is cyberpunk we're gonna come here and look at that difference it's huge and it's going to work that's it <laughs> done <laughs> you have this is the TV you were looking for I promise you you just do that <laughs> you're gonna be like wow this is so amazing so the other thing uh, you come here then to the settings and you're going to brightness and you have here three options on tone mapping because this is HDR now and you see it you see it here on the mode It's now HDR it will be four. it was SDR okay so you come here to settings brightness you come here to tone mapping you have three options okay dynamic tone mapping off is the absolute best HDR it's gonna give you 
the biggest dynamic range is gonna give you impressive highlights like 700 and 800 highlights it's gonna be amazing or you can just set this up to HDIG if you like an overall brighter brighter image with less highlights or you can do dynamic tone mapping on to use black frame insertion motion pro and I will do a separate video specifically about motion pro because there's a lot of considerations to use that that's it <laughs> you are all set so the other thing is the colors the colors that I love is color gamut on native and for that I'm going to link on the video how to get an app for the PC to change that from the default auto to native that's 